Okay, so our lesson is lesson 13, and it's Moses chapter 6, one through, verses 1 through 47, and Genesis 5 as well. So it's a really long lesson, so we're going to go through this really quick. And um, Adam's, this is what it's really about, like this lesson, just about Adam's righteous posterity, posterity kept a book of remembrance, taught the gospel to their families, and invited all men to repent. And the other part of the lesson, which we're just going to introduce right now, is Enoch, one of Adam's descendants, was called to preach repentance to the people and was called a seer. All right, so you guys see that, right? So, imagine this is like the, a chain, right? So, it represents um, their ancestors. Themselves and their descendants. Um, because we are linked with our ancestors and descendants, certain traits, traditions, and teachings are often passed on from from generation to generation. What have your parents passed on to you or your ancestors? Your hair color and your eyes, your height, yeah. your, your temper, or lack of a temper. Mm. What do you think are the most useful things you could pass on to your future children? Love. <laughs> you, Bishop, what have you passed to your daughter? I want to pass on my Photoshop skills. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I, really, I really wanted boys because I really wanted to go fishing with them. But I got two girls, which I love, and uh, I'm still thinking about what I'm going to teach them. But I have the princess-themed fishing. Yeah, I know. I right? still think of fishing. So. Yeah. But, um... I have an example. So, I... My grandma gave me... She bought this shirt when I was, like, really small. Like, maybe, like, my little sister. Which and one? <laughs> which one? Allison. Oh. oh. The new one. So, she bought me that. And I passed it on to my sister, Anna. And then she passed it on to Myra. And that was Allison's shirt. So it's been going. Right yes, yeah, better have another baby. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, um, Roger, could you read the chapter summary for Genesis 5? Genesis 5. Yeah, sure. Notice the names of it, uh, part of Adam's chain of descendants in this. Read it now. Yes. Right. The generations of Adam are Adam, Seth, Enos, Canaan, Mahal Mahalali, Jared, Enoch, who walked with God, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah, who began Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Seth, Japheth. Okay. So Genesis 5 does not provide many details about Adam and his posterity, but um, as a prophet, Joseph Smith, as a prophet, um, Joseph Smith made inspired changes to the Bible. The Lord revealed to him many plain and precious truths that had been lost forever in the Bible was. In the Bible. Yeah. Alright, Moses 6 7 contains significant details not contained in Genesis 5 about one of Adam's descendants, the prophet Enoch. Um, could Romina, Hale, and Marley read? Actually, we need one. And Lindsay read. Um, one of you guys reads um, Moses six one, Moses six thirteen, Moses six twenty one, and Moses six twenty three. I read one. Okay. <clears throat> I read six twenty three. Okay. What was another one? Um, six thirteen and six twenty one. And Adam hearkened unto unto the voice of God and called upon his sons to repent. Yeah. 
Seth lived 105 years and he got Enos and prophesied in all his days and taught his son Enos in the ways of God. Wherefore, Enos prophesies also. 21. And Jared lived 162 years and he got Enos. And Jared lived after the after he began, um, began Enoch, 800 years, and he had sons and daughters. And Jared taught Enoch in all the ways of God. 23. And they were preachers of righteousness, and spake and prophesied, and called upon all men everywhere to repent, and they was taught. Which were the children of that? <laughs> Alright, what did Adam and his righteous descendants teach their children? They. And from the example of Adam and his posterity, what can we learn about the responsibility about the responsibility parents have to their children? We can learn the importance of it. So it's pretty much the same, um, this question, parents are responsible to teach their children the ways of God. Considering how their parents or the other parents they now have carried out the responsibilities to teach their children the ways of God. Um, have you guys like can you guys share some of your observations that your parents teach you the ways of God? Or the ways of God. should read your scriptures and whatever problem you have like I want to say every single problem but whatever spiritual problem you have you will always tell you to read the scriptures and you'll always find your answer in there or pray what? or pray someone yeah. taught me to, to pay tithing and always go to church even if I'm sick Okay, so I'm going to read Moses 6, 2 through 3. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and he called his name Seth. And Adam glorified the name of God, for he hath said, God hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And God revealed himself unto Seth, and he rebelled not, but offered an acceptable sacrifice like unto his brother Abel. And to him also was a born son, and he called his name Enos. After Abel's death, Seth was chosen to hold the keys of the pro pre uh, priesthood, and that was carried the responsibilities of the priesthood to succeed generations. writing this in your journal, if you guys want to say it, it says, um, explain that in our day a book of remembrance can take many forms. And it says it can be in a journal or diary or anything we use to record inspiring thoughts. Instagram account. Mm -hmm. All of it's saved. So. Um, it's just like a journal. It's just a a book of memories help you to teach your children the ways of God. 
because maybe because when you're when you have a journal or a diary, you always write in there, and in times of trouble, you write in there so you can be like, "Hey, son or daughter, I know you're going through a hard time, but here, read this journal entry I have from when I was your age and I was struggling." Does any of your family members keep a book of remembrance? Yeah. Is that like a photo album? <laughs> <laughs> it's, any, it's anything that has inspiring yeah. thoughts. Yeah, like um, more journals or stuff like pioneers or something. Journals right now, but does anybody want to say a goal about what they will do to prepare to teach their children the ways of God? I guess I should start writing my journal then because I always, I always don't do it <laughs> because uh, back then I used to not do it because I was like, what's the whole point? I have a good memory, and then I was like, what if my brothers find it? Like, no, I'm good. I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Swear. It's up. Well, when I was when I was young, I I always wanted to be a father, be a dad, and now I have two little girls. And one thing that we try to do every day is read the scriptures and pray together. And it's been it's been great because my kids say like really interesting prayers. Um, my daughter Bella, she yesterday in her prayer she says. Heavenly Father, thank you um, for my family. Please bless my sister Sophia and my other friend Bella. And there's so many Bellas in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, she said, there's so many Bellas in the world, but thank you. She's going to say. <laughs> 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 and like, my wife and I started cranking up and we were like trying to hide it. But it's fun. It's, it's really cute to have kids say prayers. You know, I teach the primary class for um, values, and you just at 8 to 11, and they, they do weird prayers. So, you know, um, Brother Deposa, his son, Kaylee's brother, the little one, Tristan? Uh, Tristan, yeah. He always, every prayer, like, he never fails to pray for pizza. Pizza? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that she was saying the prayer was like in the middle of it but she always says the same thing she's always like and we have this day and food amen <laughs> that's what she says every single time food when there's not even yeah. <laughs> like yeah when we do family prayer before we go to bed that's a food amen <laughs> so there's the last little bit of Moses um Chapter 6, verses 9 through 25, and we're not going to read all of them, because we'd probably die of <laughs> not reading. So, does anyone even want to read just the first verse, and then I can summarize it? 9? Oh, uh, yeah, it was 6. Nine. I'll read it. <clears throat> In the image of his own body, male and female, created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam, in the day when they were created and became living souls in the land upon the footstool of God. Okay, so... Um, Adam and his righteous posterity continued to teach the gospel to the families, even when those around them became wicked. That's all, all those verses, that's what all of them mean, but I just wanted to, someone to read that because that was the quote that we have today. Okay. 
Say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Good job. Good job. Okay.